reflection made your eyes red. You said you have a secret. They reveal on the portrait. We dress up as well as others. Fancy oversized coat. We don't know. Right, it's a short drive, we're on the way to uh, Pit Lockery Golf Club and uh, I don't know a lot about the golf course itself, it looks very picturesque as is everything in Perth that we've seen so far. Short drive, uh, Pit Lockery is one of my nan and granddad's favourite places to visit uh, when they used to travel a lot through Scotland so uh, looking forward to getting on that first tee. That's not a bad drive, but I've got to, the drive up here to Pit Lockery has got to be one of the most scenic journeys I've ever taken, certainly to get to uh, a tea time. This place looks stunning. We'll just see how it matches up in terms of a golf course, but honestly, what views uh, to start your game of golf with? It's, uh, it's about a bit more than the golf in the sense that every, we play three courses, all parked and all been in fantastic condition, but they all have incredible views as well. So it's a, it's a gorgeous place to play golf, but plenty of other things to do as well, I would imagine, if you're into that outdoor lifestyle, if you like biking, walking or whatever, all them things, fishing, we've seen so many people fly fishing, it's just, it is a really uh, nice spot. And we're up on the fourth tee. I don't know if this is the highest point, but that's an incredible view. I said the fourth tee was the highest point. Well, it's not. The six is quite a bit higher as well. The view stays the same. I'm not sure where that's going to land. Is that bunker? No, it's not. It's pretty damn good. It's great enough off an elevated tee. It just seems easier. I don't know why, but it always seems easier and from uh, high up. There are a number of courses, far too many for me to reel off in this Perthshire area. And uh, we stopped in, I think it was at Comrie Golf Club yesterday. Um, also at St. Fillion's. And they're lovely little nine old courses, but in absolutely immaculate condition. I mean, you'd be, you'd be more than happy to play on them all day long. And the fact that the nine holes, you, you assume, or I would assume uh, that the quality is not as good, but that's a, a big mistake on my part, because honestly, the, the, the greens were immaculate. I've never seen anything so pristine in those two golf courses, Comrie and St. Fillion's.
Right, about 70 yards back there is the uh, team position for hole number eight. It's called Bruce's Lookout. And uh, it's said to be where Robert the Bruce came and fled his enemies, camped out, pitched up here to see um, that same enemy approaching down in a valley. He picked a good old vantage point, to be fair. Right, hole number 10, and it's stroking next one. And I've got a question for everybody. When I get on the stroke one, for some reason, it's like a challenge, and I always want to do, I want to par it, I want to birdie it, I want to see it. Obviously, it's the toughest hole on the golf course. So for me, that's like a bit of a gauntlet. Is that just me, or does everybody try their best on stroke one? You should try your best on everyone, shouldn't you, really? Right, black and white marker post. Oh, hello, and well, that's the best drive I've hit in, uh, in nine holes. Where does it get to? We're sort of halfway up the hill and uh, we should be, I think we're going to be playing blind back over that brow, it looks like. Right, well, I've just taken a, well, quite a decent walk to the brow, to be honest with you. And uh, I can see my drive is clearly not long enough. We're playing blind. There's a black and white marker there. I'll disappear when I get to back to my ball. So it's a matter of trying to recall a line. But I reckon I've got par, best part of... Um, well, there's almost 200 in. And that's why it's stroke one hand. That is right on the marker. Be good. That is right on the marker. I can't see the green. We've got a camera up there, so you know better than me, but that is right on the button. Oh, that was nice. Well, you get over the brow and it's total disappointment because I really thought it never moved off that black and white marker. It was right on for the flag. And I haven't got the, the you've seen the camera and uh, maybe seen it land, but I haven't, but I'm assuming it's long. I'm gutted. Do you know what? I'm even going to check in the hole. It's a bit optimistic, but I have no idea where that's gone. I am gutted that that ball is not uh, in the middle of the green. It's an optimistic walk. Now, I know a lot of you are probably asking, what happened on stroke index one hand? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I lost my golf ball. And it took me two more shots, or this par three, to get over it because... Uh, I didn't have the um, benefit of the camera on the green of viewing that footage, which you obviously had. So I don't know what happened. I must have gone long right the way over, but I was gutted because it was such a good iron shot. But anyway, we've got on the green and a uh, super par three that, uh, that follows it. Birdie would be nice, wouldn't it? Just to put me back in a good mood. Go on, ball. Go on, ball. Or come up short and leave me in a bad one. Great little corner though. As much as I hated losing my ball, what a great little corner of the golf course. This is superb. Right, we're just coming to the end of our game. We've just seen Harry and Graham who are just going up. What is this, uh, Graham? That's a second hole. That's a second hole. And this is the big course, isn't it, Harry? Yeah. How old are you? Seven. You're seven. And are you any good at golf? Mm, I'm good at you, golf. You're good at golf. That's not bad, is it? Does it get you away from your son? Do you play on a PlayStation or anything like that? Or get all of them other games? Uh, I've got a tablet, but with... So do you prefer golf or a tablet? Um, a tablet. <laughs> That's the perfect answer. So what do you call this club, Harry? Um, a smasher. That's your smasher? And what about this one here? A whacker. A smasher and a whacker. I tell you what, I could do with two of them in my bag. Well, listen, 
I hope you enjoy it. I hope at some point you prefer the golf than the tablet. But uh, in the meantime, keep on, keep on getting better at golf and keep on enjoying it. Uh, you take your time, Harry. I'll put it up for you. There you go. We'll go up the hill. Okay. Is this with the smasher or the whacker? No. This is the smasher. I can see why you call that a smasher. That's better than I can do. That's pretty good. It is very good. Were you happy? Yeah. Yeah? Did you thumbs up? Are we going on the buggy now? Yeah. Let's have a go with the buggy. I'll go and get the ball. <laughs> oh, this is your dad's one, is it? Is this your dad's smasher or whacker? Um, it's an iron. It's an iron. I haven't got a clue what I'm on about, really, have I? Mm. So the deal was, he said, I'll come on the video as long as he gets to go with the buggy. Is that the deal? Yeah. Let's go then. It's a lot of, I tell you, it's quite a tough walk up that hill, isn't it? Yeah. You need a buggy. Let's go. It's quite quick, this one as well, isn't it? I'm on the back of the 15th green and uh, I don't know the holes in but I know we'll be making our way back down to the clubhouse and I'm conscious that we won't get as good a vantage point as this to finish the video so this is where it ends and uh, what a position to end it it's I mean you've seen the views if we've made any type of video uh, then it will speak for itself it's been absolutely stunning in terms of some of the positions you get to and uh, the views are incredible it's a really good golf course I said earlier on, I think it's a friendly golf course and there's a bit of room there. Everyone can have a bit of fun and if you're playing a bit of a game, you can put a score together. Another great golf course in Perth. <laughs>